So this particular tape job is going to be an arch tape job. Um, so we see it a lot in people you can either have that have really flat feet or really high arches. Um, but basically this um, gives a little bit of support to where our medial longitudinal arch should be, um, whether they have it or not. But it just adds a little bit of support, especially when we start getting into uh, preseason stuff. If they haven't been paying attention or taking care of themselves, they can have issues with it. Or if they get new team shoes, stuff like that, uh, they may need a little extra help to start. For this one, we are going to pre-wrap. Um, this one is dependent on the athlete. If they don't want it, that's fine. Um, but it may be more beneficial for them, maybe a little easier to take off. We're gonna pre-wrap from the distal heads of the metatarsals. You're gonna come all the way down and around and around the malleoli. So with this one, you really don't have to have too much of a technique for it, just as long as everything is covered. Okay. From here, you're gonna do a base strip along just proximal to the distal heads of the metatarsals. You do want a little the skin just so it stays in place a little easier. You don't want this one too tight. This is very much gonna be just an anchor strip. Um, it's not gonna be a really um, sustaining strip. From here, you're gonna do two horseshoes. So with these horseshoes, you're gonna go from one side of our anchor strip down around the back side of the heel up to the other side of the anchor strip. For this one, we're only doing one. This one, again, doesn't need to be too tight, but it does need to be um, relatively snug just because this is what helps keep it on our foot. And do one more anchor strip to close that stirrup up, or that horseshoe up. And from here, we're going to do what we call teardrops. So with these, we're going to split a roll of tape down the center. Good end to it. About halfway through that roll, you're going to be using both sides, so be aware of that. For this one, you're going to pull the tape out about a foot. You're going to go along each of the metatarsal heads. You're going to come down around the back side of the heel and end um, our bit of tape where we started. So I like to start with the first metatarsal, come down around the back side of the heel, rip it, and place it right where we started. We're going to continue going all the way across, basically going on each metatarsal head. So we're going to be doing three on this side of the tape roll, and then we'll switch the other side. Again, with these ones, be sure not to do too tight on the back, um, just because we don't want a whole lot of pressure on more of the um, Achilles tendon. Um, but you do, again, need to be relatively snug. Now that we've done three on one side of the tape roll, we're going to start using the other side of the tape roll. You're going to continue down those metatarsal heads until we get to the fifth one. So from here, the goal that we want is to cover all of the pre-wrap that we have um, across that arch. If we do have some spacing, we do have an extra teardrop that we can use to cover it. If you have it all the way covered like this, um, really you can place it wherever you would like. I usually like to go back to the first um, just to give a little more support on the inside. Come down around, rip it, place it where we started. Second part of this is what we're going to refer to as low die. So this is going to be the part where we're going to start on the outside. We're really going to be creating a new arch for this athlete. You're always going to go from lateral to medial. You're going to place your lateral, your lateral end of the tape on our horseshoe that we made at the beginning. With some pressure, you don't want to be wrenching it down, but some pressure, you're going to come across bottom part towards the medial side of the foot, rip it, and place on our horseshoe on the medial side of the foot. We're going to continue that overlapping each time. You're going to go all the way down to basically our heel and then work our way back up.
So when we get to the calcaneus here, then we can start working back up. Again, overlapping as we go. Again, making sure you place the lateral part of the tape and pull medially. One, this gives support for our arch, but this also covers all of those teardrops that we just did. Um, make sure none of them peel off or anything like that. Once we have that done, start at the top, went to the heel, came all the way back up. We are now going to clean it up, close all of our edges. And to do that, we're gonna do one more horseshoe that goes all the way around. Again, this one needs to be snug, but not too crazy tight, not a whole lot of pressure on it. And then one last strip will cover the ends of those horseshoes. This one, just like our first one, really don't be too, too tight with it. So we don't want to be putting too much pressure on those metatarsal heads, especially squeezing them together. So then this will keep it in place pretty darn well. Um, when the athlete stands up, they'll feel an arch being formed. If they do need a little more, um, not support, but a little more stability keeping this in place, you can cover it with tear light, which is why we put pre wrap so high up onto their ankle. So for here, if we are going to use tear light, basically we're just going to be covering the tape job all the way down, come around the back side of the heel, and however you get this done will work. But basically we are going to cover the majority of our white tape. And then make sure we get at least one strip all the way around our ankle up here and then finish it on the bottom of our foot. So that way it doesn't come undone, it can lock into place, and it locks in with each step they take. Perfect.